It's the last day of the holiday season in Russia as Lokomotiv hosts Dynamo Minsk. A fine day for a hockey game, wouldn't you say? First period, Loko on the power play. Stefan Kronval passes it to Alex Guskov. Bam! He gets Loko on the board. That's his third of the season. He scored 19 two years ago. A few minutes later, Alex Chernikov is behind the net with the puck. He fools Kevin Lalonde and scores short side. 2-0 Loko. Chernikov scores his seventh of the year. He has scored in two consecutive games for the first time this year. Just a little later, Mintz goes on the power play. Dmitry Maleshko is trusted with the shot and he makes it count. Maleshko scores his third of the season. He was on Team Belarus at 2010 Winter Olympics in Vancouver. Still in the first, Loko has a two-man advantage. Guskov blasts it on net and scores. Or does he? What happened? Guskov did score. His shot was just too powerful for the puck to stay in. Fun fact, Guskov only scored in two games this season. Both times he did it twice. Last minute of the second now, Loko on the power play again. Guskov and Chernikov set up Yuri Petrov and he scores on the power play for Loko. And that's also his third of the year. He had just two last season with Sibir. That's all Loko would need. Curtis Sanford makes 36 saves for the win. 4-1 Loko final.